Hey guys, welcome back to Bella Boo's Lunches, or if you're new, welcome. Today we're gonna attempt to make cute fruit animals I've seen on Pinterest. <laughs> so, to start off, I am cutting up this grape in half the long way. We're making a sheep, and this is going to be the grass. So I cut up a bunch of those grapes that same direction, and just put them on my plate to kind of mimic grass. Now we're going to make the sheep. So like his fur fluff part is going to be the banana. So we're just going to simply slice up our banana as thin as we can. The thinner the better. That way you can kind of overlap them a little easier. This does not need to be perfect. Chances are you're doing it for your kids and they're not going to really be that critical of you. So just go ahead and slice it up as much as you can and form it into a semi round shape. And then you're going to take two black grapes and put them just down at the bottom and those are going to be the sheep's feet or legs. And for the sheep's face you're going to do just a pile of black grapes in the center of your bananas. Now we need to give this sheep some eyes. So I have cut up just little miniature marshmallows and I'm going to take a clove and just kind of push it through the miniature marshmallow. I cut the marshmallow into thirds or halves. Uh, you just want it kind of small enough that it's not going to poke up too much off of your face. But again, do you and don't even worry about the eyes. To be honest, it looks cute without eyes. So I'm just pushing a clove right through this little miniature marshmallow. And then I'm going to stick it right in the middle of my sheep's little face. Okay, and for the sheep's nose, I took a white sprinkle and cut it in half. My sprinkle was too long, so I cut it in half, and that is what you see here is just the two little sprinkles for his nose. Anyway, I think he is pretty adorable. I would not say that he looks as great as the pin that I saw on Pinterest, but he's definitely going to do for a fun snack for Bella today. Today, I'm going to attempt to make a lobster or a crab out of this red apple. The first thing you're going to want to attempt to do is cut your apple in half, but not all the way in half. Just go slightly away from where you assume the seeds are going to be. Now, when I cut mine, there were still a little bit of seeds in my half of the apple. And so I just took this fruit baller and just scooped out the seeds out of the center. Now as I'm cutting my apples, I don't want them to go brown. So I took a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of water and put it into a bowl and I'm just gonna put all my cut apples right into the lemon juice water mixture to keep them looking fresh. With your other half of the apple, go ahead and slice that up into thin apple slices. Now for the fun part where you actually get to start assembling your little lobster crab, whatever we're making. One thing I want to point out is if your little apples are not lying on the plate nicely, go ahead and just cut them in half again. Trim them up, make them really thin. We're doing four little legs on each side and then the body on top. And now I'm going to take two more apples and just kind of cut out little V's into them to make it look more claw-like. And here is our finished guy. If you notice, I did raisins for his eyes. I simply just cut one raisin in half and that made it sticky enough to just stick to the apple on his own. So anyway, what do you think about this guy? He was slightly simpler than yesterday's and he is still so darn cute. Bella is gonna love eating him. All right, we are doing another apple guy today, and this one is hopefully going to end up looking like a frog. 
Slightly, <laughs> like a frog. Okay, so to start him off, we're not going to want to cut the apple in half and not even right against the core like we did for the crab slash lobster. I'm still not sure what that was. We're going to go just a little bit slightly towards the outside again, about like that. And this is going to end up being the frog's head. So if that can help you... Uh, judge like how large to make it that is our goal that's what we're aiming for so now we're going to cut one more slice and this one's going to be closer to the core and I just want this to be a larger slice for the frog's tummy so again pick the pretty side there it is and that's the side that's going to be facing up and I am throwing all of these into lemon juice so that they do not brown while I'm slicing everything up. Next, you're going to cut a couple chunks off your apple. I don't know, really wide kind of apple pieces because these are going to be the frog's legs, thighs. I don't know how to describe it. I'll show you here in a second. So our frog needs eyeballs. So I am going to take this little miniature cucumber and just cut two little wheels and those are gonna be the frog's eyes. For the frog's feet, you are going to take a couple grapes and slice four very thin slices off of the grapes. So however many grapes it takes you to get the four, that's how many grapes you are going to need. I ended up using two grapes to get my four slices. And now it is time to build our frog. One thing that I did not show you that I also did when cutting up my frog was I cut two very small little rectangle pieces for his other two legs. So there you can see me placing them on there. One other thing that I noticed while putting this little frog together were the cucumbers kind of wanted to fall off of my frog's face. So you could use toothpicks to keep them in place, but be careful when doing that around little kids. Or you could do just some of this melted chocolate that I put into a Ziploc. You could use this on the cucumber as well to glue it into place to the apple. Just make sure you kind of blot your cucumbers dry before attempting to do that. One extra thing that I did do is I had these larger little cake sprinkles that I'm putting for his cheeks. You can do this or skip this part. I personally don't think it added anything, nor would it take anything away if you just skipped that. <laughs> but here is my frog. <laughs> He just makes me laugh. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Does he look like a frog to you? Are you going to try to make any of these little fruit creations? Send me your pins if you have any other things that you think I should try. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I have a few more to show you in the upcoming weeks. So look forward to that. And I will see you in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.